Hi, Sarah here with you. Welcome to another session of news and discussion. And let's go to the main topic of the week. Final Fantasy 13 2 news has been um, on the internet for the whole week. There has been a commercial that came out and also the cinematic opening has been released and there was an interview with the staff of Final Fantasy 13 2 they were talking about uh, the cycle of production of Final Fantasy games in general whether it is a good idea to release a game in uh, a range of one to two years or just uh, work on the game more than that to make sure that the game will be released as a better product but it will be done in a longer time and in this interview the staff answered that they wanted to present something like the western cycle which is releasing a game between one to two years like a lot of games we have Assassin's Creed we have Modern Warfare uh, games and uh, they said that they were also wanted to keep in touch with the fans and that they were proud that they were able to do the sequel in about a year and a half uh, since of course Final Fantasy 13 came in uh, March 2009 in English so in about 22 months we are having this uh, sequel they were also had some questions about uh, why didn't you make Final Fantasy 13 into um, a movie like Advanced Children? They said that they had just a lot of things that wouldn't fit into a movie like Advanced Children. And in the case of Final Fantasy 7, it's a bit different because Final Fantasy 7 till today is one of the most popular games on a international level. So it was accepted when they made the movie and the sequels and the games even if they weren't organized they also said that they wanted to change the Final Fantasy franchise from the traditional Final Fantasy style that we're used to on to a more action based RPG um, by including the new system that lets the player interact at certain moments um, that the player needs to press on a certain button to be able to avoid um, being attacked or defend or just do a certain action and they also said that they gave, gave the player a bunch of different choices to um, choose from and based on the choices the conversation may change a bit or maybe be a little lighter or humorous or more um, heavier in mood they said that they put all of this inside of the game to make it more enjoyable experience to the player and of course as they said before that there will be missions P players will be able to explore the worlds unlike the previous Final Fantasy 13 which was very linear and that was a big problem to a lot of players that they wanted to go back and to explore the places like uh, the previous Final Fantasy so they are going from the old traditional style to a more action based RPG and uh, that was the conclusion of all of the interviews and all of the stuff for the past week and the weeks before it um, because of course it's coming in a matter of weeks now in Japan and um, early next year so of course that they're going to talk a lot about it during uh, or before its release. Moving on to Persona 4 Ultimate Arena news. Mitsuru and Akihiko designs has been released and I would say they look grown up. Uh, they look really different from what uh, people have been used to in Persona 3 game. They really look like fighters that could uh, fit a fighting game. Uh, Akihiko has an interesting design uh, rather they have given him scars on his chest and shaved a bit 
from uh, the side of his uh, head. Mitsuru has been given a fur coat, which I find it difficult to fight with, but they're going to be able to summon their personas and perform attack via their personas. To sum it up, I could say that they're going to make uh, Persona for Ultimate Arena more interesting, but I'm still wondering if they're going to add some more characters from Persona 3, like uh, Yukari or um, or Junpei. Uh, maybe they're going to add Metis in their next announcement to add new characters. Who I would really like to see is the protagonists both the male and the female in this game because they will make an absolutely interesting addition to uh, to, the to the selection of fighters in this game. Um, I doubt that they're gonna put Ken or Kunumaru but who knows, Persona has been always an uh, unexpected game they're always the un unexpected that happens in Persona so uh, we'll just have to wait and see Moving on to some Vocaloid news, two characters has been released this week, or maybe even three characters, but I only have the pictures of two. One is Yuzuki Okari, and uh, she's the girl with the violet hair in front of you. She has an interesting voice, and the other one is called Cool, I believe. But I personally didn't like her voice very much. Um, and there was another character that was released this week. Her name was I, and uh, she's the one that I liked the most. But unfortunately, I don't have uh, a picture for her to show you. But she has yellow hair and a very interesting design. I could say she's the best out of uh, the three characters that came out all almost really close and there were other two characters that were released before these characters by about three or four weeks ago so uh, that makes an interesting addition to the Vocaloid team a Modica Magica secret project website open uh, it's been a mystery for the past couple of days and um, on the side there's quotes like I still remember Homura clearly even now I, I think it's really wonderful thing someone can be happy through miracles and magic I don't let anyone's prayers end in despair these were some of the codes that was put on the website does this have to do with uh, the movies the trilogy movies coming out um, next year or whatever, N nothing has been released as a release date. Or does it tell maybe that there could be a potential season two? Um, who knows? Let's see. Anime uh, movie has its title is going to be called The Last Dark. So let's see The Last Dark. An interesting title there and of course it's going to continue on the story after the anime because the anime ended and it showed that it will continue in some sort of sequel a movie of course the movie is coming out in June 2012 now for some quick anime uh, news Kaon is getting a midnight screening a horizon in the middle of nowhere and bento are going to be delayed for one week because of uh, soccer apparently it's week of soccer in japan hitamaki sketch is uh or the fourth season is stated for 2012 liar games manga resume after one and a half years um card fight vanguard gets a second season and the teacher suspended for about two months for uploading Kaon and uh, Haruhi on the internet. So uh, that wraps up the news. Next corner is Anime Wonders.
that's it for uh, this week anime uh, session for news and discussion. I will see you next week. Bye bye.